Commit, Valka, commit. Okay, girl. Hello, everybody. Thank you for checking out my channel. My name is Simply Valka, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a pick a card covering the messages that our spirit guides, our ancestors, just what we can overall expect for the month of October. And if that is of interest of you, keep on watching. Now, first and foremost, you guys, I always will leave the timestamps below for you to just go straight to the uh, pile so you can pick your pile and go to your reading. But for those that want to catch up a little bit with me, um, I want to like brag about some of my thrift store finds and like first and foremost, like this jacket like okay, I'm gonna put this, down. this jacket first and foremost I found at the thrift store and it's just I love it so much like there's just so much potential I could do with this if I like well outside of just sitting in my room and recording with it but actually like I don't know I just love this jacket so much and I got it for so cheap but yeah whenever I even pulled the jacket out to buy it of course right obviously um, I got like several compliments on my way of going to buy it in the front so it was just yeah totally happy purchase with that and also you guys I think actually I think this was on a separate day no this was on a separate day that I went back to the same thrift store I went back on a separate day later on actually a few days ago and I didn't get much I didn't get any new clothing or anything but y'all oh my god i didn't even know beyonce had vinyls and i never was that kind of person that would collect vinyls i still am not that kind of person but it's like come on when you see something like this you can't not purchase it like come on like so basically what i'm trying to say is she's probably going to be making appearances in the rest of my videos for the rest of my life and yeah i'm just so happy with this it's like <laughs> probably never going to listen to it but just for the fact of having it like you know, Mother, Mother Beyonce is just always watching us in this video. And so, yeah, I guess that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. So let's just jump into the readings. All right, you guys. So what I want you to do, well, first and foremost, this is pile number one. This is pile number two. This is pile number three. And then this is pile number four. And what I want you to do is to close your eyes and take three deep breaths in and then three deep breaths out. And you may see a number from one to through four in your mind's eye during this process. That would be the pile that you are being called to. So if you kept seeing the number two, for example, pile number two would be the pile that is calling to you. Or if you open your eyes after your third breath out and you stare at pile number four, that's the pile that is meant for you. Or some people maybe feel called to more than one pile that is completely okay. Maybe you see more than one number. Maybe you see the number two and you see the number three. That might mean that you need to look at both piles. And at that point, I will ask you to rely on your intuition to help you decipher which cards are being called to you, which cards are trying to relay the messages to you. And that is completely okay and completely fine and completely normal. But once you do pick your pile, I always leave in the timestamp. I leave the timestamps to the piles down in the description description box and also in the comment section down below as the pinned comment so once you do pick your uh, pile you can click your timestamp so you can get straight to your reading and so let's go you guys all right you guys so those who chose pile number one let's see what messages we can expect for the month of october i'm really excited i'm going to be taking this into uh parts and pieces with this reading. I'm going to be pulling more cards that I feel necessary for this. Uh, first and foremost, the overall theme for you guys for pile number one of the month of October is our, our, the Angel of Mysteries, Raziel. Raziel? 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 I'm going to show the card right here for y'all. Y'all know this, my nails, by the way. I got, I got them done. But uh, yeah, the Angel of Mysteries. So what does this mean? I feel like this month is really going to be unpacking a, a lot for you guys in terms of I feel like this is kind of like the foreshadowing of some explosive things happening for the month of October for you guys. Some unexpected things, obviously some good things for some people and maybe some challenging things. I'm not going to say bad things for other people, but definitely I feel as if, okay, I pulled the wheel indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Yes, I definitely feel like you guys are getting a kind of like a wake up call from spirit now you guys like i feel like if you guys had just been wandering aimlessly maybe like you kind of started losing losing sight of your goals and like what it is that you've been working on like what it is that you want to achieve um if you haven't been really committing to those goals you have just been kind of getting lazy recently or just uninspired spirits really like with the wheel card coming forward spirits really kind of showing to me that like 
they're really going to like have something explosive happen into your life that's really going to shake things up and get you moving again um, but i definitely yeah definitely let's continue on with this the knight of air right i pulled the knight of air and this card talks about events occurring with great speed and take time to carefully review your options and create a solution so definitely i'm getting the vibe for you guys in pile number one such a strong affirmation in that paired with the wheel card that is just like i feel like with a lot of people with their creative pursuits they kind of may be in like a little bit of creative rut right now or just like in a rut in general maybe maybe feeling just like unfulfilled and just haven't been able to find something to do with their time and so uh yeah spirit's going to come into a way where it's going to like nudge you get you in that right direction maybe for some uh for some people because we do have the strength card archangel ariel coming through um i feel like for some people whenever because for those who are familiar with my readings whenever i see the strength card come up i associate that straight up with shadow work so perhaps this month uh spirit's going to kind of like you know be like okay you guys those who have been kind of wandering aimlessly those who are feeling is like kind of just not being productive with their time spirit's going to make this time be productive for you it's like okay if you don't want to work on those creative pursuits that we were talking about right we're going to still make this month of october productive for you and we're going to do some shadow work so so once you do decide to do those creative pursuits, once you do decide to get back on track, you'll be a lot, you'll be coming from a lot more of an empowered place. Definitely what makes sense. Let's see what animal card comes forward for you guys in pile number one. But yeah, I love how that is panning out. So definitely you guys in pile number one, what I'm suggesting to you guys, because as I, as it comes with any type of tarot reading, right, the future is never completely solid, set in stone. So it's like, if you aren't, when you hear like something explosive happening, right, if you're not vibing with that, if you don't want to be shaken up if you don't really want to spend this time doing shadow work right now you guys maybe this is the time for you to take control of the wheel of your life take control of your ship and start really going forward into your life because spirits like one way or another spirits seeing this and definitely getting like the energy it's like this is not something that you necessarily need to experience per se i'm not trying to sound ominous whatsoever you guys in pound number one but i feel as if it's like spirits going to like you guys have the kind of guides and ancestors that are going to keep you productive very like um i feel like a lot of you guys in pound number one have a pretty good relationship with someone a uh, singular maybe like a couple but i'm definitely feeling most people who, uh, in pound number one may perhaps have like a strong spirit guide connection with one that really keeps them on their toes that keeps them accountable really so maybe that's the guide that came forward to put out that kind of vibe for you guys to like let you know it's just like you know what if you're not going to be productive with your time if you're not going to practice this willpower right uh, i love this you're not going to practice your willpower into not sink into like your old habits that you or, ooh, there are two cards here to um thinking back into those old habits that no that we're not are not we're no longer serving you anymore that we're just kind of like a just serving as a distraction um they're going to folk like make you do something they're going to wake this up in you because maybe part of this is like a confidence lack of confidence things the other card that i pulled for you guys right uh, there's actually stuck in between this other card uh also i want to point those who are paying attention to numerology number 26 um and then also number 26 which would equal to eight and then we have number nine or 18 which would equal into nine and then for the strength card we have 11 magical 11 right you actually don't combine those two card uh 11 the those two numbers because it is a master number i believe it's called um but yeah going on continuing on with what i was saying for the messages for number uh, pile number uh, one for this uh maybe right now you guys have been like losing sight of your goals and because you have like maybe you're lacking the confidence and like like maybe hmm, maybe no song not necessarily lacking the confidence but maybe no longer practicing the willpower to maintain certain things that helped you keep your confidence up so maybe your confidence right now you guys in pile number one is a little bit low because you haven't been practicing that proper willpower you haven't been eating properly you haven't been holding yourself accountable and this could be even for like some mental things as well maybe like you haven't wanted to, you haven't been wanting to put yourself out there as much maybe that's why you haven't been that, that inspired because it's like something's holding you back something that you need to do shadow work wise to work up with your confidence interesting with that 
um but yeah king of fire as well king of fire very powerful card as well talking about just asking you to focus um and, and communicating with the vision and be a leader so really taking asking you just another card asking you to take control of your ship right now you guys like this is how these two cards are like meshing in together like really this month for you guys the month of october i feel like a lot of, i'm getting like and it makes sense right this year has been extremely tough for a lot of people for most people and i feel as if for you guys in pal number one this is like your spirit guides have like seen you in this route maybe maybe for some of you guys in pal number one you guys have been in this route for a while and your spirit guides your ancestors have seen you in this route and they're tired of it and you're just like you know what we're going to be doing something you need to like get back on focus 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 take control of your life again maybe this is going to be the month maybe someone's going to come into your life someone your spirit guide will bring someone forward to help you be a mentor in your life in some type of way or perhaps even just inspire you maybe um so definitely pay attention to that as well because that's what the king of fire also represents um for some people as well the five of fire maybe uh there's people in your life currently that have helped promote this bad habit or helped enable you to have this bad habit so maybe i'm i'm kind of feeling for some people the hermit card kept popping up in my mind just now as i was speaking on that so maybe for some of you i feel like it's very select few people who are going to resonate in pile number one with the hermit card even though i didn't personally pull, pull the hermit card for you guys i feel like that's just for a very select few people that are as a suggestion for those that are really resting with five of earth or five of fire it's having a little bit of conflict with other people or maybe like their own mental um they're having like a little bit of like issues with other people issues with like social interactions maybe no not even like a friction or fighting of sorts but like right now you just what would be best for you is to just hermit away and not interact with people and get back on track to get back and building that focus again this focus got yeah <laughs> anytime i'm receiving messages from spirit i always end up getting a little bit loopy but yeah continuing on the balsamic moon a time for healing so definitely i feel like for some people this is going to be the month for october where it's like you're going to be doing this healing work right uh not only for with that shadow work that we are talking about but you're also going to be doing that healing for if you're going for those that were resonating with the hermit card that i was talking about just before right this is definitely the time for you to hold your vision fixated moon so definitely paired with the king of fire again with the focus and focusing interesting very interesting you guys this is definitely a month for overall for people in pound number one for the month of october getting back on track absolutely Get, getting your hands back on the wheel of your life this is really where like the productivity is going to start happening again i think feel like this is going to be like the month of things starting to start shifting again full moon in virgo as well full, uh you are good enough confidence as well pairing again with that so definitely the month of october you guys are going to be doing some stuff to work on your confidence maybe and this is going to be different for pe different people right some people are going to have their confidence built up in a way through hermiting that i talked about some people are going to be building up their confidence through just getting back on the horse getting back on that ship and going back to their creative pursuits that we were talking about for some people leave these events that occur with great speed you're already in the process of experiencing it even while you're receiving this reading you know it's going to be uh for some people in panel number one you're going to be receiving this uh shift differently some people are going to be already in that process some people are going to need to have this event happen um before uh they can start taking control of the winds you know like they need to have like the winds flowing to get their ship moving but once that ship starts moving that's when you're going to really start taking advantage of it other people um more so for those who are going to be like i feel like for shadow work if you're not real if you are feeling like if your intuition is telling you that this shadow work card is for you um who are really res resonating with a shadow work card i strongly and y'all know this if you're familiar with my channel i'm not usually one that like will tell people to stray away from shadow work but i feel like the shadow work is not necessary the shadow work is something that's going to happen if you do not get back on track that's going to be the event that happens with great speed and i feel like it's going to be this is heavily for people who are this is like a passion project or a creative pursuit of sorts this is where the shadow work card is going to resonate heavily with but you don't have to necessarily work on this this is just a matter of if you don't start making this month month of october productive for you your spirit guides your ancestors are going to have a, have it be productive for you one way or another 
you know. Um, also, something I wanted to point out, we were talking about the confidence again and the elk card as well. This acts asking you to stand tall in yourself. So maybe like so many cards asking you to really find yourself and to really value yourself and to really own yourself again. So I feel like people in pound number one, I really want you to take this month to really figure out what makes you amazing because you are absolutely amazing right the butterfly card oh my gosh y'all it matches my jacket hello we love that synchronicity the butterfly card um really like a change for the better so maybe for some people you'll resonate with this shadow work card you'll resonate with this strength card and you're just like you know what Belka? i know you say it's not necessary but i'm gonna have to bite that bullet so you're gonna bite that bullet and that's going to you know it's a necessary change for you to experience because the star card archangel jophiel is number 17 equals to eight um this is like you're going back on the right path you know this is meant for you to like this is meant to happen for for you because it ultimately leads you to the success that you're bound for right i feel it's so strongly that like a lot of you guys in pound number one are like just super motivated and receiving this reading i feel like this is going to ignite a lot of people in their in their pursuits and so i'm definitely interested in hearing how this reading resonates with you guys and for the stone or crystal of the month for you guys in pound number one for those are feel uh feel drawn to working with the crystal for the month uh the crystal that was pulled forward for you guys for the month to work on is the Herkimer diamond and i'm um, like always, I suggest for you to look at the uh, any stone that I talk about and to look at the metaphysical benefits to see if it calls to you. Um, but yeah, the Herkimer diamond, this is very just off of memory. Like I know this is really good for like enhancing things. And so if you have grids of any sorts, maybe incorporating Herkimer diamonds into that. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for listening to me and allowing me to provide you this reading. This is such a joy to do. Um, if this reading did resonate with you, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know. Which card resonated with you the most i would love to hear about it and also if this reading did resonate with you i would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much but until next time you guys i hope i can connect to you soon bye hello people in pile number two so let's just jump into your reading see what messages spirit and your spirit guides and spirit and ancestors have for you it's already going to be a journey anytime i start speaking a lot I always start fumbling with my words, you guys. So in pile number two, um, I'm going to be pulling more cards as I feel necessary, but let's just jump into this. So the overall theme for the month of October for you guys is the null card, emptiness. Dot. Da'at. <laughs> y'all, you can try to pronounce it yourselves and let me know how y'all are successful with it. I just love using this deck because the cards are just so gorgeous. So jumping into this reading, what does this the emptiness card mean? I feel like this is going to be the month where, where, you, where you guys are going to be... I feel like for a lot of people, you guys are resonating. I'm going to hold up this card for a little bit longer because I feel like you guys are... Re some of you guys are going to resonate with this image right here because you feel like this image is partially you perhaps as if i can be as bold to say that a lot of you guys have been feeling empty recently you've been searching for something to that to fulfill you and i feel as if the month of october for you guys is going to be a time of figuring out how to fulfill yourself figuring out how to what it what it is that you need to do to start feeling alive again maybe having that breath of fresh air um yeah, I feel so strongly like just experiencing some of the energies of pile number people in pile number two. You guys are definitely like some of you guys are definitely just like tired and just like just feeling empty. You guys have been facing some mountains, major challenges to, that you guys have been in the process of overcoming. And that's why you maybe have been feeling empty. You just feel like you've been running on empty because you've been climbing this mountain. Um, I feel your struggles, pound number two, and um, yeah, two of earth as well. Too much going on, the need to make a decision and consider a more playful approach. The two of earth, you guys, like, I feel like you guys in pound number two, you, y'all you, don't need me to tell you that you're dealing with a lot, right? Y'all don't need me to tell you that you're stressed. You don't need a bunch of someone to watch someone pull some tarot cards to tell you that you're stressed when you're already experiencing it, right? I really want to, I feel drawn to let you guys know from spirit that it's like, I feel like in the month of October that you guys are going to be getting, the spirit's going to be trying to assist you, trying to put someone into your path that will 
start filling your up your cup a little bit and i feel like it's going to be through the words of like a woman through or some maybe not necessarily like a woman per se for some obviously but i feel more so just in like a feminine energy someone's the someone in the month of october is going to help fulfill you has a more feminine energy so it could be someone that is male that has just exudes, exudes a little bit more feminine energy for some people it's going to be straight up just a woman but i feel like it's going to be yeah it's going to be something that's going to trigger an emotion of some sort in you because we have the king of water for you guys where it's talking about opening up your heart and your mind to those around you trustworthy and heartfelt advice so when you have the woman's wisdom and heart work help heartfelt advice you guys strongly so much like i feel as if some type of feminine energy is going to be playing a big role in your life in the month of october um so definitely something to be paying attention to maybe this woman is going to be coming in the form of like i keep seeing like uh the like in my mind mind's eye like a like a therapist room so maybe some people are going to be going uh for the month of october connecting to like someone that's more ther like who has more of a th uh, feminine energy be play a therapeutic role in their life in the month of october or maybe your spirit suggesting for you to reach out to someone to get their woman a woman's wisdom and, and just to be, receive their kind of help receive that kind of energy um i feel like this is especially during this year the year of 2020 i feel like this is definitely the time of allowing yourselves to be more embraced by the feminine energies of the world and i'm not usually one that talks about this kind of thing but i definitely feel as if uh, 2020 uh, has been such a reminder for so many people to reconnect with Mother Earth again. To reconnect to Mother Earth because she has so much wisdom to share with you. Maybe that's why, maybe for some people, you're getting suggested to uh, go to some mountains. I can resonate with that. Surely myself, recently, I've been posting a lot of mountain pictures on my Instagram. But yeah, like, I feel so strongly that you guys need to find some way to let go like right with the, the zebra card let go of your fear and know that you're safe and protected at all times by mother nature and to be, be able to even if you have so much going on even if that continues that theme continues on for the month of october you guys being able to just i feel it's going to be important for you guys to have um some type of escape where you connect with mother nature in some type of way whether it's going to like a mountain if you can't go to a mountain or whether it's just something small like connecting to like a plant of some sort or going to like a park um, i feel like it's going to be extremely needed for you to for you guys in pile number two to have some sort of release um continuing on five of air an unwise choice learn what you can from the situation review everyone's motives um so definitely you, you guys and with the nine of earth as well asking you some quiet time alone quiet time alone again pertaining as to, for just like such a push from spirit suggesting for you guys to disconnect in some type of way from people um that five of air an unwise choice i feel so strongly in that for this card to come forward for you guys in panel number two this is i feel like you for some people this unwise choice stemmed from feeling empty this unwise choice has stemmed from feeling empty so maybe for some people you guys have gone to some bad habits again maybe for some people you've gotten into drinking a little bit more heavily recently again and so now the month of october is going to be that time of like acknowledging it and being like okay like i need to get my eating back on track i need to get my drinking back on track i need to get back into exercising again i need to find get back into the emotional side of myself again maybe for some people you've been feeling just emotionally empty emotionally dead and so you just need to connect to a more feminine energy, a woman getting, receiving a woman's wisdom to get more in touch with your emotions again. So you're no longer feeling empty. Part of the nine of earth energy as well as finding the magic in little things in life. So shifting your vibration into something more positive and more loving. It's easier to do that once you are able to like go to some place of nature to disconnect, to be able to fully surrender to the divine, the full moon. The full moon is coming the first day of October, you guys. I feel so strong. <laughs> this is where i really get going but i feel so strongly you guys and i push i've pushed so many of my friends recently to really connect to this moon because obviously um i'm gonna have a little bit of a bias because october is my birthday month but it's like i feel like this just feels so strongly that october is going to be such a pivotal like the full moon on the first of october i feel like it's like whatever intentions you set 
on this full moon it's going like that's going to be how the rest of your year is going to continue that's where you're telling spirit you're telling mother nature where you would like to direct the energies and so definitely something for you guys to think about um the sun card as well uh for those who are paying attention to numerology number 19 equaling up to one the sun card i feel like this is definitely going to be what gives you the success as well it's just connecting with doing like some type of full moon ritual because it's going to give you this happy outcome um and also talking about having confidence in yourself um don't let your past hold you back the south node let yourself stand out and be noticed the peacock card so definitely for some people you guys in pile number two you guys have definitely reserved a little bit part of your emptiness um has happened because of like how you just reserved yourself and just have been so stressed you haven't been able to do anything for the future because you've been so busy focusing on the past maybe so for some people you've been so focused on trying to catch up with your work constantly you just have constantly been a state of catching up you haven't had the opportunity to work on your now to work on you for your future you haven't been able to invest into like your skincare your exercise routines for your future to help you stand out recently because you've been so focused on the past so focused on trying to catch up and so spirits really trying to suggest to you to find the magic and little things in life and the easiest way to do that is to go out in mother nature to connect to mother nature and receive her wisdom and to put things in perspective again uh, because things are going to start working out in your favor so soon you guys because we do have the full moon in aries the fiery climax approaches and so it's like once this climax approaches that's when this all these good things happen for you guys once you guys get back on track you guys are going to i just see you guys soaring it's just really getting yourselves out of this like emptiness figuring out how you can fill your guys' cup again and that yeah that's when you guys will have it and so the stone card that i have for you guys is malachite i always suggest to people um to look up the stone um so you can see if the stone is calling to you but for some people in pile number two the month of october you are being suggested to work with the malak with the stone malachite and coincidentally enough that is what my ring is as well as malachite so i'm a little bit biased but i love malachite so much but yeah thank you guys so much for allowing me to do this reading for you guys i really hope this gives you guys some guidance some help and some sense of clarity and a sense of direction for how this month is going to go i would love for you to let me know how this reading resonated with you let me know which card resonated with you and if this reading did resonate with you please give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much but until next time you guys i truly can't wait to connect with you guys again bye guys hello people in pile number three so let's just jump into your reading let's see what messages spirit has for you guys for the month of october what we can expect overall right i'm gonna be doing this in steps and seeing um i will be pulling more cards as i see fit you guys are actually interesting in that um i feel like you guys in pile number three are the only ones that receive two different angels and for those who are familiar with my readings i like to use this type of deck for um the theme uh, for whatever reading type of reading the overall what it is the energies that are going to be working on for some people and i feel like it's actually fitting for both um, actually it blends in beautifully now that i'm like looking at it more closely together so the first card is the angel of rain matari matariel 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 Tario, <laughs> the angel of rain and i feel like this is like this card is such a gorgeous card all, all these cards in this deck are so gorgeous but i feel like for this card and it's just in specific i cannot speak um the imagery is huge on this so i'm going to be holding it up for you guys for a little bit longer um but yeah i feel like so whenever i look at this card personally i see just a lot of release when you think of angel of rain i i see tears right you're crying you're letting things go but also the angel of death we pulled for you you guys got two uh angel asriel the release card as well for the angel deck that i use as well so it's like very fitting some of you guys during the month of october it's like a release is going to be happening and i feel like it's going to be a happy release for some people obviously and a little bit depressing for some but i feel like for most people it's going to be a release looking at the rest of the cards of something positive like this is going to be a very healing month for you guys you guys are going to be letting go of a lot of stuff um so let's just unpack this a little bit more right uh let's pull an animal card first and foremost as i 
uh, look at these, to take in the rest of these cards. Something that calls out to me first and foremost is Archangel Raphael, the lover's card, uh, number six for those who are interested in numerology. For the lover's card to come forward, this already is a sign to me that if you have been, I feel so much, and plus with the full moon coming in the first of October, I feel like for those who set the intention on manifesting relationship, it's going to be very successful. So this is, I feel like, a sign from spirits, like giving you this affirmation. Whether this is if you're trying to manifest, say, manifest a relationship or manifest something positive for a recurrent relationship, I feel like it's going to be such a positive time for you. So go ahead and make that decision of setting that intention setting doing up that ritual work for the first of the full moon and i feel like for some people as well like this is going to be an affirmation for someone that they've been talking to i feel like for a few months now but it's going from september leading into october where it's like i'm kind of getting that even for some people like it's already started happening for some people and that some stuff has happened with somebody that relationships have started getting a little bit closer because with the two of water, this is talking about um, relationships growing closer, the positive um, resolution of a conflict and forgiveness. So I feel as if for some people, the dynamic of this, I feel, okay, this is going to be for a select few people, but I feel like for the dynamic for some people, you guys are just, for some in pound number three, they're coming out of, you guys are coming out of like a little bit of friction. Maybe there's like... <laughs> I feel like for some people, there was um, in some type of relationship, and this could be platonic or romantic, where something was finally being said. Because we did have the concealment card come forward, and it's actually number five. This concealment card come forward, and I feel like with the dynamic of the two of water, where it's talking about forgiveness, I feel like with concealment, this is giving me the vibe so where it's like uh, things that were being like, unspoken for a while or finally being said and so maybe not necessarily lying or keeping a secret i don't feel like it's in that kind of way at all i feel like this is more so in the way of um you didn't know what was going on or some party didn't know what was going on where someone's mind stood where their opinion stood on some things and now they're opening up someone's opening up to another individual so maybe you're opening up to an individual you're releasing you're finally being vulnerable and it's through this vulnerability with this new person, well, not with this new person, with this person that may already be in your life, that you are able to, there's the word forgiveness, but like, I feel like for some people, it's like this concealment that happened or the things that came out, the vulnerability that is exuded allows a lot of peace to come at hand. And through this piece it's going to finally put an end to a chapter that was haunting a lot of people and it's that's you know that's where like this release card comes in of like the rain letting things go and by letting things go that's where you're going to allow these intimate relationships to grow closer again and i say again so maybe for some people this has been like a stalemate for a while so the month of october it's finally going to come that peace in this relationship that was once very close and once very intimate and it doesn't have to be romantic you guys but something that was like once intimate coming back again because of like someone deciding to be vulnerable again finally um eight of fire and four of fire um so we have events are moving at a fast pace delays are over many things are happening at once i feel like mm, i feel like how this dynamic is you guys i want to say that this eight of fire moment eight of fire card happens this moment because i feel like it's going to be a moment for a lot of people in pound number three this moment happens once you're able to have like this vulnerability moment this release moment and have like this relationship to come closer again or to really can reconnect with someone again i feel like for a lot of people in pound number three you already know this person and it's like you're some type of relationship is going to just come closer and to finish a thought that I don't think I completely finished earlier. I feel like for some people, like this has already started happening near the end of September already. Some events maybe have already happened where you kind of have an idea of like who this lover's person is and whether it is platonic in that kind of way or romantic. Um, some like you guys already kind of have an idea of who this is talking about, I feel like, and in going into it. Um, hidden secret, the skull, hidden secret. So again, 
Interesting. So we have hidden secrets can kill you. Paired with concealment. So I'm not trying to sh scare some people, but you know what? Let me before I even open my mouth anymore. I want to get my other deck real quick. So, all right, you guys. So I don't normally ever do this actually, and I rarely ever use this tarot deck, but I really want to see what is going on here because I feel like with the concealment and the skull, there's two different cards talking about something being hidden. And the skull card is kind of giving me an ominous feeling as well. And I still feel like what my message is from before is still, exist for a lot of people but i want to see if confirmation have a little bit more insight on if it's truly just um people just being vulnerable and that's like the thing or if there's something that's being like a warning for some people all right with the four swords in the hermit card this is definitely giving me confirmation now you guys that this is going to be like a release so definitely the skull card is still like i'm not getting a bad omen at all because like let me explain this for how my thought process is working with tarot right now the four swords is letting me know that this is like this concealment that something's coming to air where it's like someone potentially thought like he, they were against them i feel like there's like someone who's going through like a negative narrative perhaps maybe you were that person where it's like you thought there's just like a bunch of people that are out to get you and and spirits trying to let you know like trying to have things happen where it's like things are spoken things come out where you realize like this four swords moments like oh i don't actually have anything to worry about i actually do have these people that will help me out and carry me when i need it and with the hermit card this is i feel like very like kind of giving me the sign that it's like this is more this message is going to be speaking more so towards specific people um where it's like you have this realization i want to say uh also number five for the num numerology i feel like a lot of you guys are going to have this moment and it's going to be a very healing process for you and once you experience that that's when you're going to finally be able to start having things happen and start um making better choices in terms of like business and just creative pursuits because you're going to finally have like this release where you this healing moment of where you're going to be like ah like i don't actually have to stress about this i can you can truly just allow yourself to just exist and truly allow your creative pursuits to fly and to really just flourish i feel like at that point because once this once this awakening moment happens once this um these hidden feelings are are able to be gone that's when you're going to finally be able to just have this prosperity right the waning moon like these cards are just supplements right the waning moon what it is that you need to release what is it that you need to release in yourself to realize that people are not out to get you right and the f something i also want to point out with the four of earth because i don't think i quite broke it down four of earth is really talking about business ventures as well so this is why i was talking about I feel so strongly that it's going to be a lot of people in terms of career and creative pursuits like they need to release something in order for them to like get back on tracking get back into that hyper focus of their goals of their dreams right this plays out so beautifully right and the cheetah card getting clear on your intentions and staying focused and moving quickly towards your goals i love this you guys this is such a i really want this reading to bring you guys such peace in knowing that people are with you this is really like the whole um journey of this reading overall like your new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. New moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. You guys, your your moment is definitely coming. You guys in pile number three, your moment is definitely coming. So the way to allow this moment to happen, the way to welcome in this prosperous energy is to make these adjustments that you need to and to start altering yourself with these adjustments and being able to realize just like, okay, people aren't actually out to get me. I can take the stress out and to focus put your focus back on to what you need to and act like that cheetah move swiftly towards your goal and really yeah just allowing releasing what it is that you need to release and that's when that prosperity just happens for you guys in pile number three so beautiful beautiful cards um and yeah for your guys's crystal or stone of the month is going to be car right number 50 so five in numerology you guys 
Uh, and like always, I would suggest people to look up the stone themselves so they can read the metaphysical benefits and see if it calls to you. And But yeah, this is the stone that a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people, that Spirit was suggesting um, for a lot of people in pile number three to work on. And so if this stone is calling to you, I do suggest that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for allowing me to do this wonderful reading for you guys. I really hope these messages resonate and bring you some peace, some mental clarity, some peace, a sense of direction. And if it did do that for you, please give me a like and subscribe. And let me know which comment, uh, which comment, which card helped you the most, which one is resonating with you and called out to you the most that like hit the deepest to you. I would love to hear about it. Um, and yeah, if you, if it did resonate with you guys, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much. But until next time, you guys, I can't wait to connect with you guys soon. Bye. All right. Hello, people in poll number four. So let's just jump into our reading and see what messages Spirit Guide our spirit guides and spirit have for us for this month of October. And so the theme that I have for us, I've been doing this for so long, you guys, so now I'm just kind of like, bear with me as I struggle with speaking, apparently. But the angel card that I used for the theme of the month of October for you guys, for pile number four, is the heart card, Tiferet, beauty card. So this is going to be the representation of working on your heart chakra, I feel like for some people. For the, some other people, it's going to be a month of self-caring, self-caring, and doing some stuff to falling in, I feel like it's self-love, I feel like it's going to be the emphasis for a lot of you guys, um, and having wholesome experiences. Um, putting things back in perspective and kind of taking away a little bit of stress, just taking in your uh, cards right now. Uh, I feel like for the Seven of Water, the energy that I feel like is kind of going into the month of September or into the month of October, you guys are taking into the month of October a complex decision that needs that needs to um, that you need to do more research on and actually make a decision on because that's what the Seven of Water, re water represents is like needing to make take action on something but you haven't done the research that you know that you need to do we haven't done the groundwork that you know that you need to do to do this decision but you're aware that you need to make this decision maybe you don't want to trust your intuition perhaps interesting uh, so yeah and i feel like for some people also so for some people it's just october is going to be the month where you're going to have to make a complex big decision in your life i feel like i'm getting like for some people like someone like signing something in front of a house someone like holding a piece of paper and then signing it maybe like a contract some people like moving during this month of october as well or just i just see signing i see contracts and see documents for a lot of people in pile number four like i just yeah it's just filling my brain now so interesting so i feel as if this is going to be a good month for you guys to do like business decisions so yeah that is just something to note as well so going forward with the seven of water card well continuing on after the seven of water card i feel as if uh, we have the five of the, because it's kind of like a story for you guys. I feel like the next card in this story is going to be the Queen of Air, actually. Objective decision making, clearing away that no longer serves you, and seeing this humor in a situation. So maybe some people in pile number four, you guys have been taking your life too seriously. You guys have been just so stressed out probably maybe because of finances perhaps i might be bold enough to say because we do have the five of earth talking about fury fear surrounding money maybe you're like stressed out trying to figure out how like think of how things are going to how you're going to make certain things work out and because you're just so focused on money the material things you are kind of like sabotaging yourself a little bit you kind of are in some ways i feel like you guys are almost slowing down your own progress your own growth because of this decision i don't even want to say there's like a specific decision but it's maybe more so for some people that it's like the decision to like you are fearing money but you don't want to make a decision to either like make more money or to fix like your budget like you don't maybe for some people in pound number four you don't like you don't know what decision to make to help get you out of this type of mindset when it comes to like your finances perhaps or maybe this is like a business venture maybe like some people you're like when it talks about like fears around surrounding money maybe it's like you're worried about your workplace as well but you don't know what does where is like what the right next decision for you maybe you don't know what job you need to do next perhaps um and the fourth air comes in though 
is asking you to take some time to have a rest and vacation and allow you more time before you make a decision. Meditation may provide the answer. I know that's not going to be something that a lot of people want to hear about, but I feel like part of like you'll figure out like part of what like listening to your heart like this is where i'm going to be really cheesy you guys in bell number four like i'm going to be really cheesy that i feel strongly that you guys need to meditate take heed to four of air and meditate and listen to what your heart says listen to what your heart tells you during this month of october and to really that's going to be what how spirit how your ancestors are going to help guide you into making this decision decision but the only way that they can spirit's going to help be able to connect with you is by shifting your vibration raising your vibration no longer coming from a place of just like of lacking no longer coming from this place of just constant stress and fear and being able to just clear away like the noise so you can hear them in that meditation i feel so strongly in letting you guys know like for some people, this 10 of water card is going to associate with like their actual social circle. But I feel like this 10 of water card comes forward as well as in terms of like spirit. I feel like this is more so for some people in pile number four, you're going to resonate with this card more so from spirit more so than actual like physical family. This card talks about a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met in trustworthy relationships. So for some people, I feel like you're going to be receiving, perhaps maybe you need to have, have lower the ego a little bit and be able to ask help for those around you. This, this card, because the 10 of water card comes forward and letting you know that you have good people around you and that you can go to them. And so that leads me to question why spirit feels the need to bring this card up to you. And so maybe you're trying to, your spirit trying to give you this reassurance because the five of earth talks about the wisdom to accept help from other people. And so perhaps you don't know where you don't want to hurt your heart again. And so perhaps for some people you've been dealing with like this trauma and like no longer wanting to ask for help from people for so long now. And you're getting to the point where spirits really pushing you to the point of where it's like you need like spirits. I kind of am feeling like spirits putting these situations in your path right now to put you in a vulnerable enough of a situation where you will be willing to ask to people closest to you and be able to practice vulnerability with other people. Does that make sense, you guys? You guys have been so block blocked off, and, and this is channeling a channel of message for some people. But I feel like some of you guys have been so blocked off for so long emotionally this can be well, even for business even for friendships even for romantic it doesn't matter i feel like you guys have been blocked off for so long and just have, are so used to it, only relying on yourself perhaps and during this time like it's not healthy even though it's you can manage it you shouldn't have to manage it by yourself and so i feel like spirit's trying to help you realize i'm holding up the wrong card that i've been wanting to like address i feel like spirit's really bringing forward ten of water to let you guys know that it's like spirit's really trying to get you push you to this point of where you will be willing to accept help from other people where you will see what you need to clear and make the decision of trusting them and this is what i was talking what i was talking about before some people this is the dynamic of people in their physical life but for other people it's going to be talking about your spirit guides your ancestors uh maybe you, for some people you've been having some doubts of whether you've been making that connection with that deity or with your spirit guide or with your spirit companion and this ten of water comes forward to let you know that it's like they're absolutely absolutely working with you on your side they're part of you they're really trying to assist you right now the humpback whale talking about music being healing i feel like spirits going to really show themselves to you, to you. your spirits are going to speak speak to you through music and uh, leave those kind of breadcrumbs through music and get their point across through music so pay attention to that the cardinal card talks about balance um and also the cardinal card i feel like is just such a powerful omen omen is kind of omen it's not just for negative right i feel like the cardinal card i feel more so strongly the cardinal card came forward in a way that spirit's going to come through to you and speak through to you and like signs of like Avery. So like maybe like a bird of some sort, perhaps. Ooh, I love it. Yes, I'm getting that confirmation, you guys. So number, first and foremost, number 16. So that equals to seven for numerology, but the kookaburra, it's definitely affirmation that I feel like spirit's going to leave the breadcrumbs 
um, in the form of like an Avery. So whatever bird is fitting for like your guys's environment, for some people it's going to be like a crow, for some people it's going to be like a white bird of some sorts, where there's going to be white involved in it definitely um is what i'm seeing um also like a songbird of some sort because we are talking about music and so maybe some people you need to do some bird watching maybe that would be really healing for you guys as well yeah i feel like that's how spirit's going to communicate with you guys communicate with you guys and that's how you're going to get the answers that you need the new moon in gemini right uh luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius like you this is spirits really trying to shift your vibration into a more positive one and i feel like it's going to be through y'all's connection with spirit through paying attention enough of attention through spirit and paying attention to the bird from spirit leads for you guys in pile number four and once you realize how loyal those people people that in your are in your life are the more you're able to put down these walls put down these blocks that you've been putting up for a while now or a long time now rather justice card came fell out while i was like because i have decks all around me justice card um came forward I feel as if like you guys just yeah like <laughs> once you guys are able to release and really put your trust in to really utilize i say utilize the sources around you but that sounds so impersonal right but truly in a way it's where it's like you utilize these connections that you've created in your life that are in your circles right now and to really utilize them and allow them to help you and to allow them to be healing towards you um and yeah that is the messages that i have for you guys in pile number four and also we have the turkey card as well that i pulled for you another avery card so three different avery cards i think this is the word for avery for birds um but yeah uh, the amethyst card is the stone that i pulled for you guys number 17 so eight um is this uh, card that it's stone crystal of the month that I pulled for you guys. Uh, Amethyst is a pretty good and is, is actually a pretty stable crystal for people to work with. Um, but like always, I would suggest for people to look up the stone themselves to see what part of the properties is calling to them. But if you do feel called to picking up Amethyst, this is the stone spirit was suggesting for you to work with for the month of October. Um, but yeah, you guys, thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. It was such a privilege. I really hope this reading gave you guys a sense of clarity and a sense of direction. And if this reading did help for you guys, let me know which card resonated with you the most. I would love to hear about it. And if this reading did resonate with you, I'd love for you guys to give me a like and subscribe because it would help me out so much. But until next time, you guys, I love you so much and I can't wait to connect with you guys soon. Bye, guys.